All right, so this one I'm gonna make for the Bartesian is a Uptown Rocks. Now there's really not a regular recipe version of this. This is one they created and they took a lot of different recipes and kind of come up with this one and I've had it and it's very good. So we're gonna go ahead and make that. I'm gonna do this a little bit different. And for preparation, I have my cocktail shaker because it's gonna go into a martini glass, this one right here. It needs to be chilled down with ice first and then it has to be chilled down in the shaker because once it's in there, it'll start to warm up and you want it to cold. I have my ice set for the shaker ready to go once I'm done. Now I always pour my cocktails into either a cobbler style shaker or a drinking vessel. This is my drinking vessel. That way it catches the spray. You can see that this is a little taller. But if I'm putting a drink and it's gonna go into a low ball and it gets stirred and the ice is in it, then I'll go ahead and use this. If it's gonna go into a shaker and cool down and then go into a martini glass, I'll use that. So let's go ahead and put our ice in there. We're gonna go ahead and set this in here. So it's underneath there. We're gonna open it up, which we'll turn it on. Or actually, we'll turn it on first. Okay, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna take our pot and we are gonna shake it up. Get those juices moved around and uh, in all parts of it. So you gotta shake it up, it's the only way you can do it. Set it into here. When I close it, they got this bar here, but I close it with my right hand. Then I go to my left hand and I listen for the two clicks. Then it goes to next. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and it's asking me, do I have gin in there? I'm gonna look over, I've got a clear bottle of gin, and this bottle says rum, and I do keep that full, so the gin is in there, so I can go ahead and do it. So the machine is telling you what you need to use. This is a gin drink. I'm gonna hit next. Okay, it's gonna ask me the strength of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use regular. It's going to dispense into the machine and because I'm using the taller vessel, any spray that may happen, sometimes I even move it over because it seems to want to spray this way. Any spray that happens may then still be caught and I won't get it all over the place. If I'm using the tall drinking vessel, that works wonderful for catching everything. There is a progress bar. You're gonna let it finish out. It does drip for a while sometimes, so there's no hurry to pull it out. Let's face it, it's gonna be only 18 to 25 seconds. I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm going to put the cap on it. Make sure, uh, the top and then the cap. And then I'm gonna shake it until, it's, until I feel it chilling down. It chills quickly, but the longer you shake it, the, the little colder it gets. And you're not in a hurry. Okay, I'm then gonna pull the cap up, not the top. I'm gonna dump out my ice, which was chilling down the glass. I gotta keep track of the camera on here. I'm going to hold this while I pour this into here. Get it all out. I'm not gonna garnish this or put in any extras. Okay, and that's it for the machine. And then always lift the pot up and you can see juices come out. That's normal, actually that was water. Throw it away into the sink and close it back up. Okay, and then put it back to sleep. So I have myself a Uptown Rocks. Let's go ahead and try a drink carefully. Carefully. And that is a very good drink. I would never have imagined I'd like gin. I did buy, the gin is Western Sun and it's a Western New World gin. I do have a, a London Dry Sapphire and I do have a um, Plymouth gin. I'm really liking the Western Sun gin. In fact, now that I think about it, I see the bottle of gin over there. So this is a Sapphire London gin and this tastes very good. Um, I did try it with a Western one one time before, but needless to say, um, with the gin, I never thought I'd like gin drinks, and I'm butchering this up, 
but this is a great drink. That's a very, very good drink. One reason to have a martini glass with the stem is that when I pick this up, my fingers are warming up the solution. And if you have a stemmed martini glass, it uh, your fingers stay away from it and therefore stays cooler longer. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this won't last long enough for me to worry about that. I'm gonna pretty well just drink it up. And it's gonna be my only drink for the day. But um, I decided to have one drink. Anyway, that's it. That's how to use the Bartesian. And that's how to make an Uptown Rocks, which is a very interesting drink that I did not personally think I would like. And it's one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites now, um, but it's one of my favorites.